For regular viewers of Team Wild TV, you'll know that I love my airgun hunting. And I've got with me now a couple of airguns that should need no introduction. But for those who haven't seen before, these are two of my favourite airguns of all time. The Benjamin Rogue 357 Big Bore Airgun and the Daystate Wolverine 303. So one of the questions I get asked really often is if I had the choice, which one would I choose? Well, it's not quite as simple as that. Both of these rifles perform incredibly well out in the field, but both have their own unique properties and ideal uses. The Daystate Wolverine 303 is a 303 calibre, 100 foot-pound powered rifle, shooting a 50 grain pellet, whereas the Benjamin Rogue shoots a massive 145 to 190 grain pellet at about 850 feet per second. Now that is equivalent to 230 foot-pounds of energy. So let's have a quick look at both rifles and try and get an understanding as to what they're ideally suited to. So let's start with the Daystate Wolverine 303. Now this is an absolutely stunning rifle. Classically designed, walnut stock, uh, traditional reservoir underneath the barrel, an absolutely beautiful styling. Daystate have put a lot of time and effort into the aesthetics of this gun. Now it's been designed for use on small to medium game at average airgun distances. So we've shot everything from rabbits in Texas through to wild boar in Hungary and then seeker deer also in Texas. So it is a very capable rifle, but its most important quality is its accuracy. This Daystate Wolverine 303 is capable of delivering 12 to 15 shots at 100 foot pounds, but it will do so pretty much grouping on your thumbnail at 50 yards. We've tested this rifle out to 100 yards in some pretty windy conditions, and it still managed to deliver around two inches at 100 yards. That is phenomenal accuracy. Its shot-to-shot -shot consistency and its overall ergonomics are a joy to handle. The two-stage trigger is crisp, the release is absolutely predictable, which means when you've got something in front of you that you know you've got to be precise when you're shooting, you can completely trust the Wolverine to be able to deliver. Now there's a host of other features that you can add to the functionality of the Wolverine. At the end, it has a knurled fitting to accept a silencer, which I think you're going to want to do. The Wolverine 303 is a pretty loud rifle when you don't have a moderator fitted, despite the fact that it has a shrouded barrel. It has quick release air fill on the, on the end, plus also it has a gauge in the stock for pressure. It features an ambidextrous stock, which means that both left and right hand shooters can shoot it, and most importantly, a adjustable butt pad. So overall, if you're looking for a classic and traditional shooting rifle for small to medium game, you can't go too far with a Daystate Wolverine. So this here is the Benjamin Rogue 357 Big Bore Air Rifle. Now you saw my face, as soon as I said its name, I began to smile. I've had more fun with this air gun than pretty much every air gun I've had since my first original Model 50 underlever um, a few years ago, too many to tell you. Now this rifle was designed for use on medium to larger size game in North America. Now, there's a lot of people say, well, it has absolutely no purpose here in the UK. And I suppose to those guys, I'd say, yes, you're probably right to an extent. 
unless of course you just like having fun. There is something really awesome about shooting in a high powered air gun. Now this shoots as I said before 230 foot pounds, 145 grain nozzle design bullet fired at 850 feet per second. Now it doesn't have the same classic styling that you'd find in the day state. In fact, this really is a bit of a Marmite gun, depending on the styling that you like. It has a very functional um, AR-15 style platform with an adjustable military style stock, pistol grip, plastic stock fittings, a pretty heavy chunky shrouded barrel uh, and traditional reservoir underneath. Now unlike the Wolverine, the Benjamin Rowe 357 is incredibly quiet because of its shrouded barrel. Now I'm not entirely sure how far it goes in here but it must be pretty short in comparison to the overall length of the gun because this sounds just like a silent 22 rimfire when it's being shot. Now because it has 230 foot-pounds of, of energy it does suffer in shot capacity and I've had between three and six usable shots. Three that I'm really comfortable will bring down a big animal and another three on top of that would be good for a, a small pig or, or jackrabbits. But there's nothing that can get away in the fun, the sheer excitement and exhilaration of shooting a high-powered rifle. Now one of the differences between the Benjamin Rogue and the Daystate Wolverine is this is electronically powered, which is very strange because it's normally the Daystate rifles that use that technology. But Crossman have included a special computer controlled mechanism, which I don't fully understand, that allows you to regulate the number of shots, the weight of the bullet, and the velocity of the bullet that you're shooting. So for a heavy bullet, like a 190 grain bullet I use for bigger game, you'll get three to six shots. However, with a small ball or maybe a, a 50 grain pellet, you could get upwards of 20 to 30 shots but I tend to stick with the big heavy stuff myself. Now one thing you'll notice about this rifle is it is absolutely enormous. It measures with a stock fully extended nearly four feet, but it does weigh exactly the same as the Daystate Wolverine at 9.5 pounds. So what is it good for? Having fun, shooting long range small vermin, and also shooting big game. Take a look at this. So back to the eternal question, if I had to choose between the Benjamin Rowe 357 and the Daystate Wolverine 303, which would be my choice? Well let's have a look. The Daystate Wolverine 303 offers 12 to 15 shots at 100 foot pounds. It's good for taking small to medium game and is incredibly accurate. The Benjamin Rogue is an absolute beast of a gun shooting a 190 grain bullet at about 850 feet per second. It's capable of taking down bigger game. It's capable of making sure there's penetration when it counts. And it's incredibly sexy. So, I think the only fair thing to do is keep them both.
subscribe to Team Wild TV for the best hunting, air gun, deer and bow hunting videos on YouTube.